Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Nicole. And I'm Amanda. Today is a very special day because it is Amanda's birthday. Happy Woo! Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below. It's one of our, one of my favorite videos to film for you guys. Makeup videos. It's not a tutorial. Again, we are we not We just enjoy artists. filming makeup videos. It's fun. One thing I love about it is that I always notice myself watching other people's videos, like get ready with me videos while I'm getting ready. So it's a really good way to get ready with your friend if your friend isn't with you. Wait, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> this is a really good way to get ready if you don't have your friends with you or whatever and you're in your bathroom, you just wanna like turn on something to get ready with. I'm so excited to take you guys along with me on my birthday night and show you how I do my makeup. And I'm so excited for you guys to see what I'm wearing. It's literally, like such a pretty dress from JLux and thanks I picked it to out. Nicole. She saw it online and she was like, oh, this, this is perfect, is for, your perfect birthday. for your birthday. So let's get into our makeup. So Give this video a thumbs up and oh, yeah. comment down below. Happy birthday to Amanda. And make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. I don't know if you guys watched our last makeup video, but we forgot mirrors and managed to do our makeup really well. We, we forgot mirrors again. again. So I'm doing my makeup on this extremely tiny mirror. And I have the for like a NARS wait, blush. Wait, what all I have. the hell? My dress is all sequins. We really don't know what we're doing with our makeup yet, but we're I just know gonna it. like wing it. Yeah, as wing always. It. Yeah. I feel like and you should keep it like a goldy bronze kind of vibe. I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows as always, and I always use the Anastasia. Can't forget your primer. You guys, we have a giveaway coming up very soon, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe down below. Turn on turn blah, blah, blah. turn on our bell notifications so you're notified when we post next, so that you can know what the giveaway is and you can join. Be a part of it. I'm starving and I'm so Same. excited to have Italian food tonight. That's my favorite kind of food. So comment down below what you guys enjoy eating, what your favorite kind of food is. Okay, so I did just add sparkles to my lid, and I'm just gonna go with it. You guys, it's about to be Thanksgiving, which means it's almost Christmas, which means the best time of the year. But we are so excited because we have so many Christmas Ideas. themed videos yeah. coming. And wow, your wait. eyeshadow looks amazing. I just love gold bronzy eyeshadow, and honestly, I always keep it the same. I know I can do it well, so why not just keep doing what I know what I can do. Usually every single Thanksgiving, we have like 25 or 30 people at our house and we cook and it's huge and it's always a lot of fun. But this year for the first time, I think like since I was born, we are going out of town for Thanksgiving and we're not having a Thanksgiving at our house. And I'm actually excited because there's so much work that goes into it. I'm sure if your family does that every year, it's just like- You guys know. So how much stressful. Work we're going through. Yeah, it's so stressful. So I'm excited that we made the decision to go out of town. My brother actually doesn't live here anymore. So we are gonna go have Thanksgiving in Nashville, which is where he lives. Hold on, I need to add my wings in. Can you look at my eyeshadow and tell me if it looks good? Yeah, it does. We're gonna continue on and I'm gonna start with my foundation and I'm gonna start with this Tatcha primer. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this because I haven't shown you anything else that I've used so far, but honestly, this is the best primer ever in my opinion. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys my primer. I feel like primer is key to having really good makeup, which is why I feel that we really wanna show it to you guys out of any of our products. This is so random, but I really want to know who's actually watching this video. So comment down below what city you're from or what state you're from. Just out of curiosity, I just want to know who's clicking on this, who's watching us, and who's into our videos. When's the last time you switched your foundation? How often are you supposed to like switch your makeup routine and your foundation? If you guys know that, let us know. Because I really don't know. Obviously, as you can tell, we're just trying to get as much information from y'all as we can. Okay, I'm finally moving on to my foundation. This is crazy 
that it's taken me this long to do my eyeshadow but I always feel like it's easier to talk when I'm doing my foundation so I saw today that Jaclyn Hill came out with or what did she come out with like another line oh no know. it's a highlighter collection I didn't know this you know that highlighter champagne pop from Becca yes. she made that with Becca cosmetics and I had no idea and it's like one What's of her name not on the collaboration or I don't really know I was confused when she said that in her video because I didn't know that. And everyone always knew her as like the queen of highlighter. So she started a highlight collection and everything looks really good. I feel like that's good that she just like came made out with something collection. New. Like yeah. she didn't just give and I, up. And I also noticed that Jeffree Star came out with a Oh my god, the collection no, with it, Shane Dawson. It made $35 million How in do you like know? under How do you know? two minutes. I saw it. I didn't watch the video, but I saw the video. What? Title. How in the world? How? How? Do you make that much in two minutes? The title was something like Beat Kylie Cosmetics. I don't actually know if that's a fact. I'm not gonna lie. I did not know who Shane Dawson was until three months ago. I had no idea who that was. Did you? Yeah. Because he used to do this, these videos with people, like other YouTubers, and if they had drama or something went on, he would kind of- Interview them? Inter like an interview, yeah, that's what it was. He would do interviews and he would help them like clear up the story or things like that. So was he involved with like Tati? Oh, James Charles and them? I don't think so. So last night, Amanda and I went to this women empowerment event and we don't really get we don't really to that go to events like that usually yeah. ever, but we follow the girl on Instagram and I had been talking to her for a few days and she um, was hosting the event. And so I asked Amanda like, you know, let's, we should go and like support her event or whatever. It was actually really interesting. It because was so good. I'm really happy that we went. They, they spoke a lot about how girls always give themselves such a hard time for so many things and I know stop overthinking everything there was a group of four people on a panel that spoke about all positive things that were related to women but it was all about women basically yeah it was and all about women kind of just like talking about life and not giving yourself such a hard time and, and like stuff. going for what, what you want feel is right for you and not caring about people judging you and it's so true like i for such a long time cared way too much about what people thought so i was that true. person which i still am i'm really shy so it's kind of confusing as to how i got on youtube but i almost feel like a lot of people that are on youtube are actually We're shy, shy before. in real life yeah um which is real so life crazy. but because you're talking to camera you're not really talking to oh, a group of people yeah a group of people sorry it's not even that i care about what the people think i guess i mean i guess it is it, it is just doesn't make that. any sense because who cares at the end Honestly, of the day it's all cares? about yourself like why do you why does it matter what they think you have to be yourself god didn't put you on this world to make other people happy he put you in this world for you to find yourself and, and make yourself make happy. Make yourself happy. And even I on feel like, like social media can be such a positive place too. But at the same time, it's so negative. I like it because confused. you can relate to so many other people's issues. Like last night when we were at this event, there were four, four people talking and they were all talking about things that people could relate to. And but so many, they were also explaining it from their story of well, their yeah, life. And obviously. I really liked that. I feel like you can get something out of it and definitely you can feel meet good people. after. It's nice, and not that this really has anything to do with the event, but I feel like we always kind of expect ourselves to be perfect in a way. In movies and stuff, like the girl's always supposed to be perfect yeah. and yeah. have everything together, which obviously that's not, not real, real life. life. And not that this has anything really to, I mean, I guess it could in a way, but people give themselves such a hard time for problems that they have in their life or insecurities. And my biggest insecurity that like I've spoken about before is my skin. And I just feel like I at one point, I did not want to leave my house because I hated going out in public with my skin showing. And I'm not a big makeup person. Like I like to wear makeup, but I don't wear it every single day. But I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Who cares? If someone's going to judge me for my skin. Then they're just mean. They're just mean. Everyone has an issue and people have insecurities and you never know what someone's insecurity is but like me obviously if i'm going out in public with no makeup everyone can see my acne and it honestly kind of sucks because people are going to judge no matter what especially girls they always judge each other and i feel like, like guys don't care at all <laughs> it's just like guys have it so much easier i feel like i know i always felt like Going out in public without makeup, if a girl saw me, she would just automatically think to herself, oh my god, that girl has horrible Why skin. Why is she not wearing makeup? Yeah, and it was always so annoying. And I got to a point where I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go out with no makeup on and not really care what other people think because... At the end of the day, like, makeup makes it worse. 
And honestly, I feel like ever since I haven't cared as much, I've been much happier with going out in public. Like I used to cry all the time about my skin. I feel like people watching us will also be able to relate to the fact that like they also have acne and it's normal and it happens to so many people. So honestly, I kind of just wanted to talk about that because that's my biggest insecurity. And I, when I went there last night, they didn't talk about that, but they spoke about being positive and not really caring as much about what other people think about you and just being yourself and all that stuff. And so also, I feel like if you have an insecurity, have to, not to care about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not, well, everyone has insecurities, but just don't care about what other people think about you. Yeah. Like, that's the biggest thing, honestly. And it's funny because I'm sure so many other people are out there are, are like me where you go and present a project and you're like, you get so nervous about it and your face gets really red and sweaty. And then right when you're done, you're like, why was, why I, was so I like that? nervous? Yeah, you're, you're, you think to yourself like, what was the point of getting so stressed out about that? That was totally fine. And at the end of the day, like no one's really even paying attention to the point that like you think that they really are. And even if you mess up, no one's gonna remember that. No one's gonna say to themselves, oh, remember that They're not gonna be or thinking, that guy that messed I up. I always think about that. I always think about like the fact like, that people honestly, are not gonna be thinking about it. Like I'm not trying to sound mean, but when I'm watching someone present a project, I'm really not paying that much attention no, to be honest. I'm sorry, unless it's like a topic I'm really interested in. Yeah. Just, Put that thought in your mind because that's what I've done and it's made me kind of like laugh at myself if I do something embarrassing in public and I'm like, oh, they just saw that happen. Like, that's kind of embarrassing. For the most part, the people that saw it happen or the people that are watching, they don't really remember. And I was just about to say something and I don't remember. And something weird probably happened to them that day too. That was <laughs> embarrassing, so. But anyways, um, honestly, I just feel like there's, in this generation, especially with social media, like we were saying, so many people judge and people just, have to not really care anymore because people are gonna judge you always, which is which sucks because that's just the reality and it shouldn't be, but people are always going to judge. And I used to judge people all the time, so did she. We would always say to ourselves, like, we can't we and need I to would stop always say like, that. The moment I would do it. I'd be like, why am I saying that? That's I'd be like, that is so, so mean. Be yourself, be happy. Do what you want to do. Shine bright, shine bright. No, it's shine bright, shine far. Be right. a star where, where you, you live, live, where you are, be a star. So I recently added blush into my routine. I'm finally moving on to my blush. Oh my gosh, so can you guys believe that Instagram is taking away the feature to be able to like a picture? I mean, what do you guys think? Let us know. I don't know. I feel like there's no point in doing it. I think they're doing it to prevent bullying, but I don't really understand how that... I've never heard of like... I would think more of like the comment section would be a part where you bully Oh yeah, that someone. should be taken out, I think. So that, could be, that could be taken out. Yeah. But you also have the option to keep your comments on. So if you're afraid to get bullied... Yeah, you can turn it off. You can turn them off. If you guys didn't know that and you don't want people commenting on your page, you can do something about it. It kind of sucks that people have to think that to themselves though. Yeah, that really is honestly disgusting. Who? Okay, we're confused by this. Who takes the time to comment something to comment negative? Something negative? Who I don't are it. you? I'm sure we're gonna get a negative comment on this video. Honey, what are you doing with your life? First of all, you obviously have too much time on your hands to sit here and comment something negative. Let me see, what let me see. What the hell? If you are someone who like, does the concealer with your it. eyebrows, make sure you don't keep it really white on your, on your right underneath your eyebrows, between the eyebrow and the like, eyeshadow, I guess, because that always looks a little odd. I just don't understand why people go ahead and comment negative comments. Like we've gotten negative comments on our videos and I'm not doing anything hurtful hurtful towards anyone else and I just don't understand it. If you are watching this video right now and you've gotten to this point of our video and you're gonna go down and comment something negative, I don't care, go ahead and do it, but you're wasting your time. Has this video been very negative, all of our conversations? Let's talk about something happy, Christmas. I'm so excited for Christmas. What is everyone doing for Christmas? We are gonna do some gift idea videos for you guys because I feel like Christmas shopping is always so hard. So it's currently 73 degrees right now, and but it's tomorrow, in the middle of November. Tomorrow night, it's gonna drop to 57. Yeah, I'm excited for that. It's so hot here still, and it doesn't really get me in the mood. If you live somewhere cold, I'm sure it's so much nicer. It gets you in that Christmas mood. Christmas holiday vibe, which is the best. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and put on my lashes. And surprisingly, I know how to do this by myself now. Don't jinx it. Well, stunned and I noticed something's wrong. Oh, I just noticed that I didn't do something I wanted to do. What? Do you guys contour your noses? Because, oh, I, I said this in my last video. I don't know if this is changing anything. Let me know. Does my nose still look crooked? 
You guys, I haven't even gotten Amanda a birthday gift. Oh, thanks. Sorry, I haven't gotten it yet. I, ha I don't know what to get her. Amanda and I are filming a video. Can I hear him? What did he say? She can hear you. No, I can't. Uh, uh. Do you want to help you? Yes! Okay, let me see it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna need to work on Amanda's lashes, so, um... I can't open my eyes yet, but we're gonna go get ready. I need to rewind my hair because it's already kind of fallen, and then we'll get... See you guys when we're all ready. What? Amanda, it was already being... No, hold on. Look at me. Something needs... I need to fix it with mascara. Can you please look at me? Are these, like, too much? Can you look at me? Look up. Why can't I just do it? Look up. I feel like I can <laughs> You guys, how cute is this dress that I picked up for Amanda? Amanda, turn around. So cute. So cute. And then I got my ponytail done at Lux Style Bar, so. Turn around. Pretty. Look at the sparkles on you. You look so sparkly. See? I'm like behind the camera. It's like I don't exist. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Yummy. <laughs> Um, I got fish because I'm healthy and boring, but pasta everywhere.